Hi, VancouverWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, April 26. Well, a lot of changeable weather over the next several days. First of all, we have another rain event coming to the Mid Atlantic region for late tonight and on Friday. Fast moving low pressure will move from the southern states all the way across the Mid Atlantic region by the latter part of Friday. Then high pressure takes over for Saturday. Much of the day will be pretty nice certainly in the morning and midday hours. However, a strong fr cold front will be approaching during the afternoon and it could set off some shower activity, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm or two later Saturday into early Saturday night. It then turns much cooler again later Saturday night and on Sunday. Sunday high temperatures will probably be confined to the 50s in much of the I-95 corridor region. That is well below normal for this time of the year. However, a major warm-up is coming next week. It looks like the warm-up will really get underway on Tuesday in the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City metro regions. High temperatures on Tuesday afternoon well up in the 70s. 80 plus degrees likely on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That uh, Tuesday to Friday warm-up may end late Friday, Friday night with a cold frontal passage. We'll see about that over the next few days. But again, a major warm-up coming uh, beginning next Tuesday and continuing at least through the end of the work week. But first we have to get through another rain event here over the next uh, 24 to 36 hours or so. Let's start off by looking at the 500 millibar anomaly pattern from last night's ensemble run of the GFS at 6C. First of all, two areas of interest. A, a very impressive looking upper level feature right now over the south central U.S. That is uh, associated with a a uh, widespread area of showers and thunderstorms. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And this just sets off that low pressure system to move to the north and east right over the mid-Atlantic region over the next 24 hours or so. The other major feature, notice this very strong ridge out here in the uh, uh, northwestern U.S. Watch what that does over the next several days. That ultimately moves right over the eastern U.S., and results in a major warm-up here in the Tuesday to Friday time period of next week. Let's now move forward here uh, in six-hour increments. These maps from TropicalTidbits.com, again using the ensemble run of last night's GFS. And here we go into uh, the latter part of Friday. Still a lot of uh, upper-level troughing here in the eastern U.S. Generally below normal conditions here. And again, a rain event late tonight and on Friday. And then another batch of cooler than normal air coming our way in the uh, Saturday night, Sunday time frame. But then let's move forward here. Sunday, again, temperatures confined to the 50s, certainly below normal for this time of the year. But look at that big ridge now forming over the center part of the nation by the early part of the next week. That just moves into the eastern U.S. Here we are by Tuesday afternoon. Again, this is the big uh, noticeable warm-up uh, beginning on Tuesday afternoon. High temperatures probably in the 75 to 80 degree range. And then that continues to dominate the eastern U.S. Here we are in the middle of next week and all the way in towards the latter part of next week. Here we are by Friday morning. The ridge hanging on in the east. Notice another upper level trough dropping southeastward across the Great Lakes. Again, it looks like the warm-up will be Tuesday through Friday then perhaps a cold frontal system will cool us down again for next week. But again, a major warm-up coming with high-pressure ridging headed, headed to the eastern U.S. for the bulk of next week. Well, here's a current look at the radar loop. And again, quite a vigorous upper-level system is producing showers and embedded thunderstorms down in the deep south this morning across the northern Alabama, now reaching northwestern Georgia, the Tennessee Valley, all of this moving north and east. The rain could actually come down hard at times, especially in D.C. and Philadelphia late tonight, early tomorrow. It tends to weaken a tad as it continues on moving to the north and east for places like New York City and New England, for example. But again, another half of inch, an inch of rain likely in the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City corridor from late tonight through much of the day on Friday. That gets out of here, however, for the beginning part of the weekend. Well, let's now walk through the surface forecast maps from last night's uh, 6Z GFS model run. First of all, here we go this morning. Low pressure down in the deep south. Dry day here in the I-95 car. A very nice afternoon after a cool morning.
Temperatures in the 40s this morning, but should jump up into the 60s for the afternoon hours. That low pressure area is pretty fast moving. Again, it puts out a fair amount of uh, rainfall, especially south of the Mason-Dixon line, late tonight towards daybreak into the early hours on Friday. Continues to move, however, during the day on Friday. Basically a cloudy day. Most of the rain will be in the morning and midday hours in the Mid-Atlantic region. And then that moves on by, by Saturday morning. Low pressure over the Great Lakes and an excuse me, associated cold front will be approaching the region. The day starts off pretty nice on Saturday. Some sunshine Saturday morning into the midday hours. But then as that cold front approaches, some shower activity is possible, especially north of the Mason-Dixon line. Maybe even an isolated thunderstorm or two. Not a heavy rain event by any means, but cold frontal passage could produce some showers in the p.m. hours on Saturday. And here we are by Saturday evening, that front just dropping south and east through the I-95 corridor region. The winds will pick up a little bit out of the northwest and it'll start to uh, uh, become noticeably cooler later Saturday night into the day on Sunday. And here we are in a chilly air mass with strong northwest winds and noticeable northwest winds on Sunday. And again, well below normal for this time of the year with high temperatures confined generally to the 50s in D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City for the day on Sunday. But then, as we move forward, that high pressure area controls the weather on Monday, then it shifts off the coast. And look at this broad area of southwesterly winds from the deep south all the way up to the Great Lakes region into the Ohio Valley. Here we are by Tuesday, high pressure moving off the east coast allowing for that milder air to uh, press into the mid-Atlantic region. By uh, late Tuesday afternoon, we should see temperatures well up in the 70s here in D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City. And then, this is Wednesday now, the middle of next week, high pressure situated kind of over the Bermuda position, like a Bermuda high in the summertime, pumping in very mild air, stays warm here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, perhaps uh, well up in the 80s on some of those days for afternoon highs. By late Friday, Friday night time period, we could have a cold front to deal with, and that could cool us down for next weekend. But again, a rain event coming late tonight and Friday. Decent start to the weekend, but then a few showers possible late Saturday into early Saturday night. Much cooler than normal late Saturday night and Sunday. And then a big warm-up comes, begins on Tuesday of next week, and continues right through the work week. That's it for now. For VancouverWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.